वेलकम माय डियर फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर राजेंद्र रघुवीर देशपांडे फ्रॉम पुणे महाराष्ट्र स्टेट इंडिया वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय आयुर्वेदा एकेडमी चैनल दिस इज द क्लास रिगार्डिंग द यू नो द टॉपिक चरक उत्तरार्ध इन चरक उत्तरार्ध देर आर थ्री स्थान दैट इज चिकित्सा स्थान कल्प स्थान and siddhisthan in charaka sthan charaka sthan that is charak chikitsa chikitsa sthan that chikitsa sthan contains 30 chapters 30 don't forget and chikitsa sthan is very very important chikitsa sthan is very very important because charakastu chikitsite write down charakastu chikitsite that means if anybody wants to treat the patient he must learn charaka samhita very well and in that sutra sthan from purvardha also vimana sthan nidan sthan these are very important sthanas and also chikitsa sthan in the kalpa sthan there are 12 chapters kalpa sthan is explaining which are the six best plants for giving vamana and which are the six best plants to give the virechana that is in the kalpa sthan and in siddhi sthan the description about pancha karma is there five procedures for the shodhana karma detoxification vamana therapeutic vomiting virechana therapeutic purgeshana basti best treatment for vata dosha that is medicated enema then nasya nasal drops or the nasal treatment urdhva jatru vikareshu visheshat nasyam ishchate urdhva jatru what is jatru sir jatru is clavicle the problems above the clavicle which can be the problem e and t ear nose throat ah ear nose throat e and t and this 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 of thalamic problems and also the brain problems for all these nasya chikitsa is better and last but not least that is rakta mokshana chikitsa for impure blood now in siddhi sthana there are 12 chapters now we are nearly end of this siddhi sthana today we will try to see some points important points from chapter number 10 chapter number 11 chapter number 12 okay so let us start chapter number 10 charak siddhisthan please write down open your notebooks 10th of december 2023 charak samhita class charak uttarard siddhisthan class chapter number write down chapter number 10 11 12 each student is requested to purchase at least one textbook of each subject in marathi hindi english as per your liking and every day you make efforts to write down minimum one question and answer in your notebook and you can take the photos send it to dr deshpande on whatsapp 9226810630 okay so let us start basti siddhi of course these are very 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 short trailers but dr deshpande is giving you the confidence of the subject therapeutic application of basti that is medicated enema mainly there are two types of enema anuvasana basti please write down anuvasana a n u v a s n anuvasana basti second asthapana basti asthapana a s t h a asthapana basti anuvasana basti only oil with little sandhava with glycerin syringe 60 ml only that is anuvasana that is oil medicated enema asthapana basti is also called as what what yes tell me tell me niruha asthapana means niruha basti it is little stronger why because it contains oil it contains decoction that is quath 
it contains kalk that is paste everything is mixed together that is asthapana or nirup anuvasana basti is always given after food anuvasana vasana means mamma food after food but asthapana on empty stomach famous are tila taila basti or kshira bala taila basti anuvasana basti asthapana famous dashamul decoction enema okay so basti is considered i will mark for you the very important things focus concentrate basti is considered important therapy important management important shodhana detoxification it causes cleansing of intestines without complications basti causes early depletion when apatarpana drugs are used for example if the the person is very fat obesity then we give lekhana basti please write down lekhana basti for obese person lekhan basti for obesity reducing the obesity for weight loss lekhan basti next basti can also give nourishment when tarpan medicines are used nourishing medicines when the person is having weight loss weight loss in chronic diseases like rajyakshma tuberculosis cancer hiv so mal absorption syndrome mal nourishment whenever there is a weight loss we can give yapana basti yapana basti for nourishing lekhana basti to reduce obesity lekhana basti to reduce obesity yapana basti for nourishment two important basties please write down in practice they are very important okay basti does not produce any life threatening complications for example in the vamana therapeutic homeopathy oh, in vamana severe dehydration can occur dehydration and the patient can die yes very rarely very rarely but yes possibility is there basti in that way it is safer no problem there are three types of basti mainly two anuvasana niru and third is uttara basti through the urethra or vagina in the females that is called as uttara basti basti can be used for many functions if you want to shodhana basti can be used if you want to do bruhana basti can be used if you want to give the sex tonic vajikarana basti can be done वृश्य बस्ती इज देयर प्लीज राइट डाउन वृश्य वी आर यू एस एच ए वृश्य बस्ती इफ द पेशंट इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम इनफर्टिलिटी नॉट गेटिंग बेबी इफ ही हैज अजुस्पर्मिया ऑलिगोजुस्पर्मिया देन वृश्य बस्ती कैन बी गिवन आई एम गिविंग यू द डिटेल्स इफ द टाइम परमिट्स आफ्टर माय फुल लेक्चर नाउ नेक्स्ट इज i'm sorry my dear friends phal matra siddhi dose of fruits used for shodhana preparation phal is a fruit and matra is a dose how much amount should be given this is chapter number 11 so according to the punarvasu atreya jimu tak this particular fruit jimu tak is best for skin diseases ikshvaku is best for urinary diseases ikshvaku that is sugar cane okay kutaj is best for the diseases of the heart then dhamaragav is best for anemia or pandu hemoglobin is less normal hemoglobin 12 to 14 gram percent what is the normal red blood cell count rbc count 4.5 to 5.5 millions per cubic mm what is the commonest anemia in india iron deficiency anemia okay next krutavedana is best for ascites 
that is jalodara so i am giving you the best uh, things i am sorry just uh, i am trying to make some focusing by making a paint over there <laughs> okay madana phala is best for all the diseases so these are the dravyas used for the basti karma once again you make a table jimutak skin diseases ikshvaku urinary problems utaj heart problems dhamargava anemia kritavedana ascites or jalodara that is a water in the peritoneum huh? madana phala for all diseases so there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 then who is sadatur atur means patient sadatur frequent illness frequent diseases frequent complaint of the patient person who remain diseased throughout the life throughout the life means not every day but frequent illness because of the low immunity these people are called as sada a tu r please write down this is not tur this is not tur this is a tur a tur a tur is patient write down a tur patient a tur patient rugna okay veda dhena shil karma kandi people who are continuously pursuing the vedic knowledge raj sevak people who are responsible for taking care of the kings vaishya that is prostitutes and punya jeevi businessmen or shopkeepers these people can get the frequent illnesses try to understand you will say sir why because when the person is studying very hard and not taking care of the food forgetting taking the food or rather they are like a book worms then they neglect the proper nutrition or the nourishment proper exercise and only 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 brain storm then they can develop some tensions anxiety and that can create the psychosomatic problems raja sevak that are very much very tense responsibility for example our police people they are always tensed always they have to rush to the polity protection of the politicians taking the care of the society unrest unrestful conditions so vesha because lot of exposure to the genital problems like sexually transmitted diseases like syphilis gonorrhea etc hiv aids and then punya jeevi business man sedentary lifestyle and also tensions so because of these reasons these people can be having less immunity and get illnesses frequently that is called as a sadatur okay chapter number 12 please write down i will wait i will wait for you don't worry please I, write down first uttara basti siddhi uttara basti siddhi write down slow and steady but study must be very careful ha huh? these lectures not for only uh, like a reels you have to be very cautious careful see up to the end what dr desh pande is very sincerely trying to teach the students management of complications this is wrong translation i don't like this translation after basti no 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 i say uttar basti is uttar basti finish no after basti don't translate this uttar basti is uttar basti okay ashta maha doshakar bhav i'm sorry ashta ashta means eight maha doshakar bhav in order to stay the healthy throughout the life a person should avoid these eight things very interesting very i like this very much you must avoid this eight thing number 1 uchchair bhashyam dr desh pande uchchair bhashyam but that's why i take the limited lectures not i talk eight hours that is very exhaustive when you talk it's a too much exhaustive rasakshay is there ha uh, mausakshay may be there so be careful because dhatu kshay janyavata prakop can takes place if you too much talk loudly talk all the time that is very dangerous rathakshobham rath rath is your vehicle if your vehicles are not in a proper condition brakes are not good oiling is not done 
it is not put in the garage, regular servicing is not done, and then your vehicle is not in a good condition, that is Ratakshom. Or even the roads are very bad in India, in Maharashtra, in Pune, in Bombay. So that is Ratakshob, irritation to full body. Then there is Ati Chankramana, too much moving around. All the time you are on the tours, T-O-U-R-S, either by walking, either by running, driving the scooters, motorcycles, car driving, aeroplane traveling. But too much traveling also can do Dhatu Kshayajanya Vata Prakop. All these reasons, mainly all these reasons are related with the Vata Prakop. Dhatu Kshayajanya Vata Deficiency Disorders. Okay. Then Asane. Sitting at one place, us all the time, more, maximum time. That is sedentary lifestyle. Sedentary lifestyle that can give the kapha prakopa. Kapha prakopa. And that is also overnutrition problem. Santarpana hmm? janyavadi. Because of the first four things, that is apatarpana janyavadi. Deficiency disorders. Ajirna. Overnutrition problem. Indigestion. Ahita bhojana. Ahita karaka bhojana. Okay? Diva swapna. Sleeping in the daytime. And maithuna. Excessive uh, sexual activities. All these things can cause the quality and quantity of the life becomes problematic. So, these are called as a... Don't forget this. ACQ will be asked. Uh, short answer question for 3 mark or 5 mark. This term. You can write down this answer. Ashtav mahadoshakar bhava. I hope you have understood this. Now we will go slowly up. I have already explained, but still in English translation. So I will mark these eight points for you. Ashtav Mahadosha. Ashtav Mahadosha. SAQ. Write down immediately after my lecture. Make a question answer and send me photo. Or you can read in the next time. Uchair Bhascha, speaking loudly and continuously. Ratakshoba, riding vehicles on the uneven road and uh, improper type of vehicle, ati chankramana, walking for long distances or too much physical exertion, that also can be included. Eh? Same, ati chankramana means excessive physical exertion. Asana, sedentary lifestyle, sitting for long hours in one position. Ajirana, indigestion. Ahita bhojana, unwholesome food. Nityam Sarvarasa Bhyasaha. Every day, every time, lunch and dinner, we should consume six tests. Madhura Amla Lavana Katu Tikta Kasha. Six tests should be in our food. But if the person is eating, eating only sweet, only sweet all the time, only spicy all the time, Ahita Karabhojan. Okay? Diva Swapna, sleeping during the daytime, that is very bad. Except Grishmarutu. In Grishmarutu, Ayurveda says, okay, okay, you can have a snack in the afternoon, but not in the other seasons. Okay? Maithuna, having sexual intercourse during or just after the Panchakarma therapy. Okay? But these are the basically, these doshas, if you do after Panchakarma especially, then that is the worst. In the life also it is bad, but especially after Panchakarma, if you do this, then there are a lot of problems. So what can be the problems and what can be the chikitsa? Let us see. Especially this is also related with after panchagarma, after vamana, after virechan, after basti, after rakta moksha. If you do ucha bhashan, rathakshob, ati chankraman, ati asan, ajirna bhojan, that is bad. But I personally feel in whole of life also, we should not do these things excessively. Ati matrit, varjayat. If you talk too much, there will be headache. Shirastapu. Shankha karna here. Nistoda. Toda means paining. Mukha talu kantha shosha. If I take a lot of lectures here, mouth and palate dry. Dryness will be there. Trishna, excessive thirst. Jvara, fever. And shvasa, breathlessness. So what to do? Vatahar chikitsa, abhyanga, oil massage, and sved, nasya, ghritapan, and mausarasa. Snehan svedan is the best treatment for vata. Huh? 
the nasth because it is related with the brain and our broca's area in the brain which is related with the speech ha huh? ghritapana because dhatu kshejanya vata prako now next vatakshob especially after panchakarma or even in our life sandhi shaithilya problems with the joints bony joints back ache will start hanu 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 chin nasa nose karn shir shul so there will be pain here 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 everywhere there will be pain shul means pain shul can you see here shul kukshikshob in the flanks two sides of the abdomen antra kujana intestine peristaltic movements adman a little bit pain will be there in the abdomen pad shof pedal edema so what to do vatahara chikitsa that is oil massage svedana snehan svedana always combination for vata nasya ghritapan and mausarasa next is a problem ati chankramana what will happen pa the legs jangha thai uru janu knee joint vankshana pelvic girdle chroni uh, lower part of your back prishtha shula back ache sakti sadana sadana means draining all the energy from the thighs uh, totally weakness in the thighs anga mard body ache whole body will start paining aus abhitap that back ache will be there shwasa breathlessness will start so first thing take the full rest because it is because of the ati chankramana just rest and sleep and nourishes food milk oil massage that's it ati asana what will happen ratha kshobhaj sphik parshva vankshana kati prishtha vedana all the stiffness will be there in the legs and back and all this region so again the nidana parivarjana avoid it ajirna bhojana what will happen adman pain in abdomen shul trishna thirst amavish there will be toxin like material will be created then here you have to give vamana to clean your tract ruksha sveda and deepana pachana chikitsa for example tablet 3 ka 2 please write down deepana and pachana translation appetizer and carminative appetizer and carminative which will increase your appetite and will feel digest your food shankhavati is also there ayurved rasishala pune is also manufacturing aam pachakavati is also there himalaya company gasex tablet is also there so anything you can use ahita bhojan or vishama asan what will happen there will be aruchi that means loss of test durbalta which very weakness grahani enteritis grahani is a name of organ grahani is a name of the disease don't forget it grahani name of the organ grahani name of the disease grahanyat grahani mata okay then there are like a irritable bowel disease or irritable bowel syndrome i b s arsh piles hemorrhoids why varani skin discoloration and can do pruritus or itching will be there because of the ama so you have to treat according to the vata prakop is there pitta prakop kapha prakop find it out and treat accordingly diva swap sleeping at the day time after panchakarma you know after panchakarma there is important samsarjana krama diet advice but also lifestyle advice behavioral advice if the person is not following the instructions of the pancha karma doctor then he will suffer from eight maha dosha okay so in diva swap what will happen if you sleep in the day time aruchi will be there loss of appetite avipak indigestion agnimand no hunger tandra drowsiness nidra sleepiness chaddyo kandu pama angamard body ache and durbalya weakness so here all the kapha is aggregated so kapha gnha chikitsa should be given dhumra no 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 dhumra pan dhumapa 
आयुर्वेदिक स्मोकिंग आयुर्वेदिक सम वर हर्बल स्मोकिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ धू म पान केयरफुली राइट दिस वर्ड इज नॉट मर धूम्रपान नो धू म पान ओके लंघन फास्टिंग वमन वोमेटिंग व्यायाम सम एक्सरसाइजेस योगा एक्सरसाइजेस एंड रुक्षण ट्रीटमेंट शुड बी गिवन मैथुन वॉट विल हैपन शीघ्र बलनाश युअर इम्युनिटी विल बी लो स्ट्रेंथ विल बी लो शीर हेड बस्ती यूरिनरी ब्लैडर गुद एनोरेक्टल रीजन मेड्र पेनिस वंशण इनवाइनल रीजन उरु दैट इज नॉट उर उर इज अ चेस्ट उरु इज अ थाय जानू नी जॉइंट जंघा इनवाइनल रीजन पाद फिट देर विल बी पेन इन ऑल दीज पार्ट देन देर विल बी कास कॉफ श्वास ब्रेथलेसनेस एंड शुक्र विसर्ग सो हियर जीवनीय गण द्रव्य सिद्ध दुग्ध द पेशंट शुड ड्रिंक मेडिकेटेड मिल्क वातहर क्रिया एंड बेस्ट इज यापन बस्ती नरिशिंग बस्ती शुड बी गिवन सो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स आई थिंक दिस पेज हैज फिनिश्ड नाउ वी विल गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट पेज ओके वी आर हियर Yes, you can see over here the description of yapana basti. Please write down yapana basti is always nourishing. I will wait. Write down nourishing. N O U R I S H I N G. Nourishing. Bruhan. Whenever there is a deficiency disorders, write down deficiency. Dhatu kshejanya vata prako. धातुक्ष रसक्षय रक्तक्षय मांसक्षय मेदक्षय देन यू गिव दापन बसती कैंसर एच आई वी ट्यूबरक्युलॉसिस लॉस ऑफ वेट इज देअर गिव द यापन बसती यापनश्च बस्त सर्व कालम देया कैन बी गिवन ड्यूरिंग एनी टाइम दिस इज द स्पेशलिटी एग्जाम्पल्स मुस्तादी यापन बसती मुस्ता मीन्स नागर मोथा बेस्ट आमपाचक प्लीज राइट डाउन मुस्ता नागर मोथा आम पाचक एरंड मुलादी यापन बस एरंड राइट डाउन एरंड रिसिनस कम्युनिस रिसिनस कम्युनिस दैट इज कास्टर ऑइल एंड दिस इज बेस्ट वातहर यूज कैन बी यूज इन सामावस्था एज वेल एज निरामावस्था एरंड मुलादी यापन सहचरादी यापन बसती दैट इज एनालजेसिक which will control the pain factor baladi yapan basti if there is a weight loss if there is a strength is not there weakness is there give the bal bala means sida cordifolia plant sida cordif latin name bala 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 the name is itself bala is the strength sida cordifolia next dvi panchamuladi yapan basti dvi panchamuladi yapan basti रस्व मूलादी रस्व पंच मूलादी यापन बस्ती एक्सेट्रा सो दीज आर सम एक्साम्पल्स ऑफ यापन बस्ती इन द लास्ट सिद्धिस्थान लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द ट्वेल्थ लास्ट चैप्टर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग इज देयर एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज तंत्र युक्ति एक्चुअली दिस टॉपिक इज ऑलरेडी बीन लर्न इन द फर्स्ट इयर बी एम एस इन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ पदार्थ विज्ञान In the syllabus of Padartha Vidya, there is Tantra Yukti. What is Tantra Yukti? Tantra Yukti helps in expanding those details which have been described briefly. So, if it is a very small type of the intimation that can be clarified with different things, and that is called as a Tantra Yukti. This also help to throw light on the deeper. or broader meaning of the context so it can give you the best idea of that particular thing my dear friends here here the word tantra is applied to the ayurved science please write down tantra what is tantra this is charaka samhita is a tantra sushruta samhita is a tantra ashtanga hrudaya is a tantra ayurveda science is a tantra so all these are tantras and to understand charaka samhita to understand ashtanga hrudaya to understand sushrut samhita 
we have some specific skills s k i w l s these skills are nothing but the yukti now we must understand the different skills and that skills are given henceforth that means i think there are nearly 36 different things are mentioned as a tantra yukti i will discuss this point if the time permits afterwards also first try to understand in short so you have to remember all these tantra yuktis the 36 names and its meanings say read 100 times write it down tantra yukti is very important topic in charaka samhita very important topic in each and every viva and oral they will ask minimum one question on tantra yukti so tell him that ayurved is tantra charaka samhita is tantra ashtanga hrudaya is tantra and to understand ayurved understand charaka samhita we must know we have must have some skills and there are 6 36 types of the skills or understanding i can say understanding adhikarana whenever we start reading something we must understand what is the adhikarana of charaka that is scope of the topic for example in charaka samhita internal medicine is adhikarana according to me charaka samhita because this is a textbook reference book of management ayurvedic management so that is adhikarana scope of the topic surgery is not adhikarana of charaka samhita adhikarana of sushrut samhita is surgery are you getting my point adhikarana of sushrut samhita is surgery challa tantra but not of charaka then yoga that yoga rational thinking whenever we read any chapter of the charaka samhita we must keep some rational thinking what can why why they have explained this way so you must understand the logical 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 like that hetvarth that is extension of argument hetvarth for example just now we have said ashto mahadosh that is basically the things that after panchakarma if patient is not following then that they are the like a dosh but i have mentioned you that can be extended to our whole life whole life they can be understood as a mahadosha that is hetvarth extension of argument although they are mentioned for panchakarma deshpande is saying they can be applied for whole life process of anybody that is hetvarth padarth that is import of words specific terminology ayurvedic terminology is called as padarth ayurvedic terminology is called as padarth for example vat this word is padarth pitt is also padarth then atma is also padarth man is also padarth so any word any terminology specific having meaning then that is called as a padarth in ayurveda padarth is not only substance that, that the chair and the table and all these things is they are not padarth padarth is any word ha huh? padasya artha padarth next pradesh extension of past to present that is when we discuss anything as a applied part of charak samhita applied part then that is called as a pradesh extension of past to the present for example darshana sparshana and prashna trividha pariksha now the sparshana can be done by stethoscope sparshana auscultation so that is extension of past to the present pradesh uddesha what is the uddesha of ayurveda swasthasya swastha rakshanam aturasya vyadhi parimoksha that is concise statement in short why i am studying ayurveda nirdesha detailed statement for example our uddesha is swasthasya swastha rakshanam and swastha vrutta subject is a nirdesha that is detailed understanding of that concept vakya shesha that is filling of ellipsis vakya shesha if something is missing in between two lines we have to understand the meaning in between two lines that is vakya shesha 
नेक्स्ट इज अ प्रयोजन वॉट इज द प्रयोजन ऑफ अवर लाइफ धर्म अर्थ काम एंड मोक्ष दिस इज द प्रयोजन पर्पज ऑफ अवर लाइफ उपदेश इंस्ट्रक्शन इन ऑल द चरक संहिता फॉर एक्साम्पल कल्पस्थान सिद्धिस्थान द चरक हेज एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू डू द वमन हाउ टू डू द विरेचना दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ उपदेश इंस्ट्रक्शन देन अपदेश एडन एड्यूसिंग ए रीजन अपदेश एड्यूसिंग ए रीजन अतिदेश एक्सटेंशन ऑफ प्रेजेंट टू द फ्यूचर here you can see pradesh extension of past to present atidesh extension of present to future uh, something if we are going to do the research on that particular uh, ikshvaku or jimutak then that is atidesh okay arthatpatti that is implication so some terminology you may find sir i have not understood properly but you can open your charaka samhita the textbook whichever you have and then you can think of your own and try to find out some examples for this tantra yuga okay if the time permits we will discuss afterwards also nirnaya one of the tantra yukti that is conclusion nirnaya hmm? prasanga contextual restatement prasanga contextual contextual restatement ekant definitive statement एकांत डेफिनेटिव स्टेटमेंट अनेकांत नॉन डेफिनेटिव स्टेटमेंट अपवर्ग अपवर्ग एक्सेप्शन अपवाद अपवर्ग एक्सेप्शन वी पर कॉन्ट्ररी स्टेटमेंट कॉन्ट्ररी स्टेटमेंट देन पूर्व पक्ष स्टेटमेंट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्शन विधान सिस्टिमैटिक इंटरप्रिटेशन अनुमत anumati i have given the anumati that is concession acceptance okay vyakhyana whatever we are doing is a vyakhyana that is explanation of that particular topic ah uh, uh, vyakhyasya maha in each chapter the drudabala or the acharak has said uh, agnivesha kruti tanse acharak prati sanskrute itihas maha vyakhyasya maha so vyakhyana is explanation saunshe is a doubt atita veksha atit that means past retrospective reference atit paksha past references then anagata veksha prospective references ha huh? anagata veksha prospective references then sva saudnya this is a technical terms sva saudnya ayurveda has a specific terminology that is sva saudnya for example nishwas inspiration actually in marathi language um, uh, we speak uh, x y z person has nishwas made the nishwas that means he has expelled the air out or relieved from the tension nishwas sodla ekda cha in marathi this statement is marathi nishwas sodla that means i am relieved from the tension but actually in ayurveda nishwas is the inspiration so that is sva saudnya uyya that is a deduction then samuchchaya that is collection samuchchaya nidarshana that is illustration nirvachana that is derivative definition sanyoga that is injunction then vikalpa that is alternative statement prati pratyutsar that is rational uh, refutation udgar that is re affirmation and sambhava that is source of origin sambhava so these are the 36 tantra yukti at the moment you can try to understand or try to read as many times as you want and you try to remember at least minimum 10 to 12 this particular tantra yukti names so that in the oral it will be very easier for you now after some matter in front of you dr deshpande sometimes also give some audio dictations or some another information similarly today we will start from the chapter number 10 again additional information than this particular information on the screen okay dasham adhyayah dashamo adhyayah 10th chapter ath ato vastir siddhi vyakhyasyamah 
जस्ट नो आई हैव सेड व्याख्यान एक्सप्लेनेशन व्याख्या श्यामा इतिहस्म आह भगवान आत्रेय भगवान आत्रेय सेट नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट द बस्ती प्रीवियस चैप्टर वाज प्रीवियस चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर 9 थ्री मर्मीय सिद्धि थ्री मर्मीय सिद्धि वेयर चरक हैज एक्सप्लेन द प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड विथ बस्ती नेत्र स्नेह व्यापक वमन विरेचन व्यापक बस्ती व्यापक इट इज ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर now the charak is giving some important basti types which are very useful for our day to day practice very important chapter ha huh? so first in shlok number 5 please write down shlok number 5 we are discussing chapter number 10 basti karya and shreshtata please write down basti karya and basti siddhata shreshtata superiority why the basti is very important charak has said basti can cure many types of diseases and there is less chance of the complications basti is said to be the best treatment in all panchakarma procedures hmm? compared to the virechana chikitsa in virechana there may be some katurasa pradhana dravya some ushna virya dravya and so while taking this vaman virechan sometimes the patient is very uncomfortable hmm? because there may be some belching problems nausea problems and not feeling good when taking this vaman virechana thing but but in basti it is not happen next in the balak and vridh in children and in the old people vaman virechan is not indicated because in the balaka in the children your dhatu sharir dhatu and bal is not up to level up to the mark and in the old people sharir dhatu or bal is becoming less and less that's why in these patients balaka children and vriddha people in the old people senior citizen we try to avoid vamana and virechana but we can give these people a basti chikitsa especially asthapana basti asthapana basti is good because it gives the bala that is strength varna color and complexion and prasannata energy then your body becomes soft mruduta sharir mrudu ban jate hain sharir snigdha banta hai matlab anxiousness will come up okay now in the chap shlok number 8 9 and 10 please write down chap shlok number 8 9 and 10 there are basti types are given basti types anuvasan here also you can see anuvasan niruh and uttara basti hmm? whenever the person is suffering from vata dosha for example bone fractures are there stiffness of the body is there then there may be constipation malavarudh then parikartika here you can give the basti treatment if the patient is having lot of heat problem then you can give the sheetal basti dravya cooling type of the basti and if patient is suffering from problem with the sheet guna then you have to give little bit warm type of the medicines okay next shlok number for example 11 and 12 please write down 11 and 12 bruhan basti bruhan basti ayogya purusha contra indication write down bruhan basti should not be given should not be given bruhan basti please write down to whom we should not give bruhan basti that is obese people don't give bruhan obese overweight people medasvi kushti kusht kusht means all the types of skin diseases all the types of skin diseases don't take you bruhana then pramehi rugna don't take you bruhana basti okay then next point to whom we should not give the shodhana basti we should not give strong basti 
to whom we should not give strong bus the patient who is very very weak kshina shat if there is a wound in the body then if the patient is krish weight loss is there murcha the patient is having fainting attacks don't give shodhana bus okay then in shlok number 13 and 14 13 and 14 we are talking about charak samhita siddhisthan chapter 10 Shlok number thirteen and fourteen. There he has described the vaji karana and rakta pitta shamana basti prayoga. Vaji karana and rakta pitta means bleeding disorders. Charak is saying you can use honey, madh, ghrta that is ghee and dudh that is milk. You have to give the basti with these dravyas: madh that is honey, ghrta, ghee and milk. Okay. नेक्स्ट बस्ती प्रक्षेप द्रव्य वेन एवर यू प्रिपेयर बस्ती सम मेडिसिन आर एडेड एज ए स्प्रिंकलिंग पाउडर बस्ती प्रक्षेप श्लोक नंबर फिफ्टीन एंड सेवनटीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन सम बडी शेप फॉर एग्जाम्पल देन यू कैन हैव द वेलची कार्डाम प्रक्षेप द्रव्य ज्येष्ठ मध लिकोरिस ज्येष्ठ मध इज लिकोरिस then you can use lavana little bit salt you can use these prakshepa dravyas then in shlok number rather from shlok number 18 18 to 24 please write down 18 to 24 you have there are description about vata nashaka basti pitta nashaka basti and kapha nashaka basti vata gna pitt gna and kapha gna basti dravyas first write down when there is a vata gna or vata nashak basti you can use you can use dasha mool please write down ten roots dasha mool in pitt nashak basti please write down pitt nashak basti you must use chandan thanda thanda phool kul sandalwood ananta mool that is sariva very thand cooling plant sariva jeshtha mad licoris now if there is a kapha more kapha then kapha nashak basti please write down the dravyas i am giving you most important halad turmeric you have to use turmeric then nagarmotha ha uh, musta nagarmotha amapachak dravya then you can use chitrak अग्निदीपन चित्रक मूल ओके नाउ इन श्लोक नंबर ट्वेंटी एट एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन प्लीज राइट डाउन ट्वेंटी एट एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन चैप्टर नंबर टेन हियर चरक संविता सिद्धि स्थान शुक्र एंड मांस वर्धक बस्ती शुक्र एंड मांस वर्धक बस्ती इंपॉर्टेंट द्रव्याज ओनली इंपॉर्टेंट प्लीज राइट डाउन शतावरी Asparagus, shatavari is very important. Udi the black gram, kavacha bij, then vidari kand, vidari kand, and gahu wheat. So these are shukra and mausa vardhaka. Next, parikarti ka nashak, parikarti ka anal fissure, nashak basti, parikarti ka nashak basti. what you can use medicated milk medicated milk for basti and medicated milk processed with processed with kanchanar this is the name of the plant kanchanar kanchanar medicated milk kanchanar and amlavetas amlavetas next next प्रवाहिका नाशक बस्ती प्रवाहिका नाशक बस्ती श्लोक नंबर थर्टी सिक्स श्लोक नंबर थर्टी सिक्स प्रवाहिका प्रवाह मन से प्रवाहिका अमीवियसिस देर यू कैन यूज मोचरस 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 इज अ रेसिंग गम फ्रॉम द शालमली फ्रॉम द ट्री शालमली मोचरस यू कैन यूज मेडिकेटेड मिल्क मोचरस सिद्ध बस्ती मोचरस सिद्ध बस्ती 
इट विल टेक केयर ऑफ बस्ती सॉरी प्रवाही का व्याधि देन नेक्स्ट इज अ रक्त पित्त नाशक बस्ती रक्त पित्त इफ देर इज अ ब्लीडिंग एनी वेयर फ्रॉम द बॉडी फॉर एग्जाम्पल एपिस्टैक्सिस इज देयर हिमेटेमेसिस इज देयर इन द यूरिन हिमेचुरिया इज देयर फॉर रेक्टल ब्लीडिंग आईटीपी इडियोपैथिक थ्रम्बोसाइटोपेनिक परफ्यूरा तिरक रक्तपित्त उर्धवग रक्तपित्त अधोग रक्तपित्त तिरक रक्तपित्त देन यू कैन गिव द बस्ती प्लीज राइट डाउन द द्रव्य फॉर बस्ती रक्तपित्त नाशक बस्ती You have to use Ananta Mool, that is Sariva. Please write down Sariva. Jeshthamad, Likoris, Dhamasa, Dhamasa. Then Chandana, Sandalwood, Manuka, Black Resin, Amalaki or Awala, and Kamal, that is Lotus. You have to use all these things. Then there is Shlok number. लास्ट लाइन ऑफ द फोर्टी थ्री श्लोका प्रमेह नाशक बस्ती प्रमेह नाशक देर यू हैव टू यूज विट खदीर क्वाथ खदीर खदीर विट खदीर क्वाथ बस्ती रिपीटेडली दैट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड अनदर नेम मेन्शन बाय चरक इज सोम वल सोम कल्क सोम कल्कज सोम वलकज सोम वलकज विट खदीर दिस इज अ डिकॉक्शन ओके सो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स आई हैव ट्राइड टू गिव यू द सम इम्पॉर्टेंट मेडिसिन्स दैट आर यूज फॉर द बस्ती इन चरक संहिता सिद्धिस्थान चैप्टर नंबर टेन इफ द टाइम परमिट्स आई कैन गो ऑल्सो डिटेल्स अबाउट द चैप्टर इलेवन एंड ट्वेल्व बट वी विल कंप्लीट अवर फर्स्ट राउंड बाय सम इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ द कंसर्न चरक संहिता so my next lecture will be on monday related with the roga nidana subject and uh, for the charak uttarard from the next lecture we can start little bit about charak samhita chikitsa sthan before i end before i end please see all my videos in the playlist charak samhita uttarard because from chikitsa sthan i request all of you from chikitsa sthan रक्त पित्त चिकित्सा वीडियो इज ऑलरेडी देयर रक्त पित्त चिकित्सा वीडियो इज ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड गुल्म चिकित्सा वीडियो इज ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड सो आई रिक्वेस्ट ईच एंड एवरी स्टूडेंट प्लीज मेक द नोट्स ऑन रक्त पित्त एंड गुल्म एज पर माय यूट्यूब वीडियो अबाउट द चरक संहिता एंड रिमेनिंग चैप्टर्स दैट मीन्स आउट ऑफ थर्टी टू चैप्टर्स आई विल नॉट टेक आई विल नॉट टेक because it is already there rakta pitta and gulma so it is your uh, work to do as per my request thank you very much please like share and subscribe my youtube channel see you in the next uh, class of roganidan thank you very much have a nice evening